Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ruby from Oofy Scraps and today we are working on story 24 in my December Daily 2021 album. We are so close to finishing this album. Um, so today is obviously the story about Christmas Eve and I spend a little time before most of these videos getting an idea of what I want to do so you guys don't have to watch me go back and forth and change my mind a hundred times. So I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do with these photos and this story. So we don't have like a traditional everything we do Christmas Eve every year. We just sort of do random stuff. But this year I convinced my family to finally go with me to see our Christmas lights like street. We have a, it's called Christmas Card Lane and it's super incredible and I've been a bunch of times and I've been wanting to go all season and just never got around to it, never could rally the troops. And finally on Christmas Eve, I convinced one of my brothers and my mom to go with me. So we finally went, I took a couple photos, every single photo my brother was in, he made like a terrible face. He did not want to go. So that was kind of funny. Also, it's like a, a neighborhood full of lights and houses and some people drive through it. We always park outside of the neighborhood and walk, but there was a car accident in the middle, like in the middle, middle of this neighborhood, which was super crazy. I guess like someone in front of this car, it was like um, a pickup truck and... I don't remember if it was a sedan or I think it was like a sedan, like a small four door sedan. And they must have like taken their foot off their brake or not been looking. And they just slammed into the back of this truck and the truck had no damage on it that we could see, but the sedan was obviously like crunched. And, um, then it started smoking and there was a fire because like something was leaking or something. So they had to like run into the house and someone grabbed a fire extinguisher and they had to move the cars. And then there were so many people backed up behind them that no one could move. It was like gridlock because there's kind of only one way to go like around the path of this neighborhood. And then there was an ambulance and a fire department trying to come and there was like no way they were going to get in because there's cars parked on both sides of the road and then a line of cars all the way through. So we didn't see the aftermath of like the fire department trying to get in, but it was crazy. So always walk instead of drive through your like Christmas card lane lights place. Anyways, what I was saying is I didn't know what to do with this page because I didn't have room for the photos on a six by eight and I didn't want to make flips or anything. I just wanted to keep it simple. So I found this wreath pattern paper from the Allie Edwards 2019 kit that I had and I just cut my photos into little one inch circles and they fit perfectly inside and then one of the circles I put some journaling and then I'm going to add my number to one of the circles and I'm also going to add a little bit of embellishing to the other two or the reeds they're not really circles I guess they are circles and I'm going to use those white attacher stickers to attach my photo or my paper into the album. So that way I don't have to punch directly into the paper because it's not sized to the outside of the page protector. It's just an actual six by eight. So anyways, I feel like I'm talking so fast, but I'm going to add this little gold flecked cork heart that I got from Redefine Creative. I think it's super, super cute and they're really thin. The Allie Edwards cork stars, you can actually see them on the bottom left of my screen, are super, super thick. And in December Daily, I have way too much going on to have crazy, crazy thick embellishments, like unnecessarily thick. So if you're looking for cork, Redefine Creative has a really good thin cork. It's not adhesive, like it's not self-adhesive, so I'm adding some score tape, but I think it's really pretty. And it gives you the same look that Allie's gold fleck cork has but this is again this is from the 2019 the Ali Edwards stars are from the 2019 collection so I don't know if she's made them thinner since then but I just have that kit that I got on sale this season so anyways I'm gonna attach that down and I added a little like green flag is that a flag it's like got cut-ins on both sides but it's a little sticker and I'll add some foam tape below it and it just says memory I don't know what it says. I can't read it. It's too small. Let me see if I can find my layout in here. Um, it says, yeah, it does say memories. So I added a staple onto that. I guess I'll leave this out so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, the little camera I look at or the screen I look at when I'm editing these videos is really tiny. So it's hard to read small things, but 
Yeah, and then if you look at that bottom photo, that is one of the craziest houses that there is on the whole block. It was my favorite one for this year, and they had 50,000 lights, and it took them 100 hours to set it up. But they said they do have solar panels, so that's good. And then I'm using my roller date stamp to stamp December 24th just to fill up that last little space, and that is pretty much it for this layout. It was super quick. I really, really love the way it turned out. I've been trying to find ways to do more simple scrapbooking, and I typically don't love it. I think it's kind of boring for my personal style, but I really loved the way that this one turned out. So I will add some self-adhesive score tape to the sides of those tabs, and then I will stick them onto the page. And then the reverse side of this, I'm going to just stick a one of my foundation pages that doesn't really have room for a photo on it. It's just more of a decorative foundation page. You won't see that in the video, but it will be in the final flip through whenever I get around to putting that up. And the way I add these little tabs is I pull out my album and like slip the little tabs into the album and line my paper, my page like this, like right on top so that I can get it in the right position. They're a little tricky to get used to. So anyways, they're really helpful though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sharing with you and I will be back tomorrow with day 25, story 25. And I will have a couple stories after 25. I think I have just one more story to share. But if you remember earlier in the season, those two pages I made that were post-Christmas stories, I'm going to put those later in my album, but I've already shared the videos with you. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye, guys!